Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video of Los Angeles Chargers franchise. Uh, you know, a little annoyed today. I was trying to record a going to say Warriors franchise video, but you know, things didn't work out the way I wanted it to. But we're back here on Los Angeles Chargers franchise. Uh, we are six and one, coming off a loss against the Saints when you missed a field goal. I actually do remember that game. We are here in week. Nine facing the two and five Titans who are trying to get a spot in these uh, AOC playoffs. But I'm judging if they can't win here, they probably won't get a spot at all. So, so we have to beat the Titans and hold them to one or fewer rushing touchdowns in today's game. I believe we could do that. And we're going to upgrade some players here today. We don't really have much to upgrade. Eli Quinn doesn't play, and I'm going to focus on you. Joe Mason, who does play, and who is very good. Obviously, we're going to want to up that zone coverage because I'm not going to be using you all the time. Even though I try to, but, you know, we're not always going to be able to use you. I try to, though. And Trayvon Tapp, who uh, is still a star dev, despite uh, his decent play. Throughout the series so far. And I think we're going to go with Block Shed. Because that's what you need to watch. Your finesse moves on 85. Get that Block Shed up a little bit. Run Stopper. Don't think it boosts your overall. But you do get Block Shedding. You don't even get Block. They give him zone coverage. I literally went Run Stopper. Whatever. So, we're going to check their X-Factors. What a superstar because of Derek Henry's their only X-Factor. Their other superstars on the team are Kevin Byard, who you don't want to test out Jets pick Arson and on KO. Montez Sweat, who seems like someone they recently just got, who's a defensive end. And that's it. Not scared of this team. I wonder if they still have uh, Tannehill. It'll be very funny if they still have Tannehill. Coming off a loss last week, a heartbreaking loss, we just, we kind of undermined them and we didn't really take that team, that same team seriously. We was, uh, I wouldn't say playing with them, but we just, once again, we didn't take the game seriously. There wasn't really nothing to play for. We was undefeated. Obviously, which each game when you're undefeated, you're playing for undefeated season, but in terms of high stakes, nothing to play for. They were playing for something. They needed to win a couple games and get back in the right track to um, gained traction at NFC because I believe they were also like two and five. They were in, in some losing record, probably like two and five or two one or so, something ridiculous. Whatever losing like, losing record, whatever. Right. So same thing with this team. We cannot undermine them. I think they still have Ryan Tannehill. Once again, can't undermine them. Can't take Derrick Henry lightly. He is. <laughs> Yeah, he had 13 carries, 209 yards. I can't, like, sometimes I could do, like, 15 carries, 100 and something, but 13 for 209, and I believe, like, like a multiple touchdown game. That's incredible. Do I want to run this play? I really don't know. I guess. He caught that right over him. That was the only one I was looking at, too. Joe Reed. Wow, that worked. That is crazy. That play really worked. I laid, all I said I was going to try something. I tried it, and it worked. The DBs really got mixed up on that. Either that or he couldn't keep up with him. I'm going to have to like, look into replay for that myself because I really just don't know what happened. So, obviously... Initial routes are these guys, right? So there's two of them. And yeah, I just I just think they got mixed up. I don't know if it was man coverage, but I don't know. I really don't know. I can't really tell what happened there. Cause like he turned around and maybe it's just the route he ran. And he got mixed up. Maybe he thought he was gonna pick up and he didn't. I really don't know. Were they running man? No, they weren't. And that's what makes it even more like interesting. 
They weren't running man, so why did they play it like a man? Next way to fill Ryan Tannehill, who is still under helm. He has been under helm for this hope. It's not Ryan Tannehill. It's Matt George. Okay. Um, it's not Ryan Tannehill, but he still sucks. What do you do? Nothing's open. And he chose us to run, so maybe he has some speed on him. Maybe. Good tackle. Very good tackle. He, like, pushed him out and made that guy make a tackle. So Derrick Henry not having a good time so far in this one. They have no positive yards except that one run he had. And that's their first positive game. And it's going to be fourth and four. From about midfield, I mean, going for it wouldn't be horrible. But once again, you don't get it given up a tremendous field position. We'll see how this drive goes. They're trying to incorporate a little bit more of a run this time. But you never know. Just like that. Easy 12-yard gain, I believe. Who knows? It kind of did. Oh, that's a good play by Kevin. Not going to lie. Maybe I would have put in possession. I would have had it, but I didn't. We are running kind of a weird play. What I'm hoping for this play, I'm going to block uh, Cream Hunt. What I'm really hoping for this play is just these two post routes I'm looking to get open. And what I'm hoping is Kevin Byard is distracted by Tony Burton on that crosser. Or post, whatever you want to call it. He isn't really. And that's an inter. Uh, threw it a little too late. It's a little. Because the middle of the field was very open, but, you know, I just threw it a little too late. Nice tackle for loss by Joey, and he's post. Well, yeah, tackle for loss by Joey in the zone. That was actually Cam Akers that time. And that time, Joey Bosa almost like came away with like a strip sack type thing. Okay, try to roll out. And they go short again. Like, they don't have no offense, bro. They do not have any offense. Sometimes I feel like we're the same way, but we're not such a run-heavy team. We could turn to a run-heavy team and, like, you know, sub the runs, pass run, pass run type of ordeals. Why am I saying ordeals so much? Like, I never said ordeals a day in my life. These routes are horrible, but we're going with them. Yeah, I need to go possession sometimes. I really need to start going possession. Wide open for Joe. Broke a tackle. 3 of 6, 104 yards, a touchdown, a into on the game so far. And he's gone. No, he's not. No, he's not. Should have been, should have been. You know, a little bit more speed, he would have been gone. But nonetheless, a first down. I feel like my commentating skills are so bad today, bro. Like, fucking horrible. There we go. I thought for a second we didn't catch that. Was that Tony? Yes, it was. It was definitely Tony. All right, so we are... The way we're playing, I would feel like we're up by 30, but we're only up by two scores. 
I'm not gonna lie, my commentary skills right now are so ass. Like, I want to say something, but I don't know what the fuck to say because I'm just not in the groove of it right now. Is that even a positive gain? A no gainer? A no gainer. Darwin, you gotta pop uh, this man. Almost forgot his name. And that's actually gonna be the end of the first quarter, which is weird because I thought we were out of the first quarter a very long time ago. It's like I do know what to do, but am I really gonna do it? I'm stuck. No way, I didn't get a hand on that. That's crazy. Come here. I'm like, I'm not moving from this spot. I was gonna follow the tight end up the field, but I'm like, no, I'm not moving from this spot because one, you might dump it down, and two, you might run. And I can't afford either of those. And just like that, another punt. This is their third punt of the game, I believe. And just the second quarter. They just blitzed. Uh, play action wasn't a call there. But you know it's alright. We're going to run the screen right here. And we're going to gain about five yards on the screen. Okay, we're going to gain no yards on the screen. Never mind. Um, I'm putting Dorian on a post. Dragon. Um, I don't really know what's going to happen, but... We'll see. Maybe Hunter Henry might get open over this middle. Nah. Dorian Dodge, he snuck through that. Really nice throw by Herbert. Really good catch by Dorian, so hold on. There we go. Very, very easy run. All right, Hunter Henry somehow lost yards and then gained basically all of them back on that play. All right, they're coming down, which means I'm running my famous play. Well, it's not really my famous play. I actually got this play from someone else. It works so well. Like, why does that play work? I'm going to run a zig for Hunter. He almost got caught up on a route because of my receiver. Very close to being caught up on that route. Very good play. But you see how he had to, like, drag himself for that because he just, he got caught up with Joe. And just like that, it's 21-0 because, like I said, it doesn't, like, for teams that we face, they're going to take us make a mistake. And we have made a few mistakes. We already threw it into in this game. They did not capitalize out. Obviously, I'll say it. <laughs> I was going to say obviously with, like, an A. But, all right. Words, English, difficult. Um, But, yeah. It's very, like, if you don't capitalize on our mistakes, then you're not going to win the game. And even when you have opportunities, you're not going to, like, they're having a decent time with their quarterback, like, scrambling, kind of. But that's not getting it done. Like, for reasons like that, that is why it's not going to get it done. You just met Joe Mason. As soon as I did that, I felt it. I really felt it. Two-minute warning. Don't really know why I threw it low, but anyways, Joe Reed's second receiving touchdown of the day. And we increase our lead. 
28 to zero. Tennessee Titans are a bad team right now, man. Um, like I said, offensively, they finally made a change from Ryan Tannehill, and it just wasn't a good one, in my opinion. Just that, that's just my personal opinion. It just wasn't a good. Well, let me not say it wasn't a good change. It was like a little too late. You should have did maybe a couple seasons ago. Don't get me wrong. Using the playoffs for a couple seasons, that's fine. But it's like, he's not doing it. You guys just like to hand the ball off to Derrick Henry and say, "Hey, make a play, Henry." And when he doesn't, yeah, I don't have shit to go off of. And he's going down. And we are going to call a timeout. Just like that, another fourth down. What did you do? Threw it away. Got a completion. Not for much. And then you got sacked. That was your fucking drive. And that is most of your drives. Don't get me wrong. Some drives you get a couple first downs or a first down. Or a couple yards. I want to get Dorian Dell in the fucking zone. So, Kevin, you are getting attacked. And that is a easy touchdown. I'm telling you, that post route is fucking OP. If you have a good receiver, a receiver that has probably route tech on him, or like deep out, yeah. Like, he is incredible right now. He's a demon. Who's injured? I don't even know who that is. Donald? Did we just sign him, like, off the fans? The only reason they get that, because they want me to chase that all the way with Mason, but there's an underneath route wide open, and safeties don't make plays, so... Yeah. All right, they actually might get points right here. Wow. I mean, this will always happens in the half, like, when time's just clicking and they're running this hurry up. They didn't really run hurry up, but still, I'm using that as an excuse. You know, at the end of the quarters, usually second half to fourth quarter, they, uh, they usually get shit like that. And Mason is popping people. But this uh, Madden CPU is always known for not managing the clock so well so they have one timeout 50 seconds at the 19 yard line i mean it's not guaranteed score um, or maybe it is i got sacked i'm gonna call timeout Pressure just came in. I feel like no one wants to block for me. All right. I'm going to put Dorian on the streak. Hopefully, he is not doubled. He is not. So, he won. You get a flag. So, yards. Caught it. I'm out. Ooh, one second. I did not realize we had one fucking second. And it's going to be 30 to 7 headed into the third quarter, second half of the game. Easy. Just an easy game right now. There's nothing. Nothing to it, really. I mean, maybe them getting those points at the end of that half did motivate them. But. Then again, it probably didn't because we just scored right behind them and put it back up to where it was already. Well, not technically, but still, still score points. I don't think they're gonna. Whatever. I'm not really making any sense right now. Just running. Oh my god, I hate this quarterback so much. Uh, why haven't I been putting QB? That's what I fucking haven't been doing. QB contained. I'm like, why is this quarterback running wild on this? QB fucking contained. Wow. That should have been a hit stick at least.
Good tackle, Joey. Should be a tackle for loss. Yep. Joey's just must win. I don't know what the fuck that noise was. And it's going to be short of the first down marker. Um, I would go for this, but they're also going to take their three because they won all their points. Smart, but still, I would go for it. I need, I need the most points I can get. And that is why I would say I would need the most points I can get. I cannot afford to just be taking three to make it a 10 to 38 game. No, that's not going to work for me. We're going to really put Dorian one-on-one. -on -one, so it's going to take a lot for someone to get to him at this point. Put Hunter also on the streak. So it's going to be one-on-one. -on -one and how are you going to stop that? How do you plan on stopping Dorian? He has his, he has his, he has achieved over 1,250 yards. Easy thing. Like, how do you expect me not to throw to Dorian in that situation when he's one on one? Double me. You have to double him. And I kind of gave him a chance to double him because I just lobbed it straight up. I didn't like lob it to the left or anything. I lobbed it straight up. I gave them a chance. Unconventionally, I might add. I didn't really want to do that, but that's what happened. 45 to 7. You are so lucky. I wanted to hit you. I'm running that again. We're coming out. We're coming in that. I said we're coming in now. We're coming in that again. What do you mean by that? How did I let him even run? Good blocks. Easy. Easy. Middlebrooks. Pick six. Not pick six. Fumble recovery touchdown. I mean, we did this to a team before. I really don't remember what the team was. It might have been last season we did this. But we have done this to a team before. Are you serious? No fumble? There's no way. Who is that? Golly, John New Smith. Another sack. Should be in the zone now, right? He is not. He needs another tag of loss and completion. Big hit. So now he is in the zone. It's fourth and eleven though, so it doesn't really matter. They're not gonna go for it. They're gonna kick a field goal like a bunch of pussies. So it's gonna be ten to fifty two. Oh man, they're storming on the comeback now. We gotta watch out. Gotta be really careful in this next drive. Easy run. 14 rusher for 85 yards. He was brought to the gain of two yards. And it's third down. This is a clear. Just a. I had to snap it. Did he catch that? He did. Uh, I was just. I was trying to put Dorian on the street because I knew it was going to be one on one. They were blitzing. Nice catch. First down. He has six touchdowns in the game. I just noticed that. Mm. 
No way. I possessioned. That's crazy. I really possessioned that. <laughs> oh my god, what a fucking puss, man. Bro, let's literally cam acres. Can I fucking hit stick him? No, I won't because they didn't let me. I really tried to run hard flats. They really did not let me. Do I not know how to run hard flats? Oh, I do not run hard flats. I forgot. Big hit. Uh, yo, if you get hit twice hard, you should fumble. Should not be catching that, but once again, go the fuck off. Come on, he's getting hit. They're just not dropping it. And we get an intel. And we actually might get a pick six. John Smith is kind of fast. Just not fast enough. So I did it all of that time wasting, basically the whole fourth quarter. To give up another touchdown for Middlebrooks in this game. Middlebrooks might be up for a dev up. Who knows? But regardless, another score is going to put it 59 to 10. Just like that, game is over. It's over. It's over. Oh, Dory's not even in the zone. No more. I just noticed that. Doesn't need to be. All right, right there. I could, I could get, I could get a quick touchdown. Right. I want that rushing touchdown. I think I can get it. We can't get it. We gotta hurry up. We gotta hurry up. Easy. We do get the touchdown though, and that puts it what? How many touchdowns? Well, passion touchdowns. About, about seven. And last game in the play is a sack by Chandler Rosso. First sack of the game, and last play of the game. So, once again, very dominant performance. We're going to see our stats, but we already know it was crazy. Defensively and offensively, it was crazy for them, man. It was crazy. It was looking bad out there for them guys. So, kind of a flawless game for Justin Herbert. Obviously, he didn't have the completions, but he definitely did. Well, he kind of did have the completions in a sense. But he definitely did have the touchdowns and yards to match it. 412 yards, 7 Touchdowns and one interception on the other side of the ball. Uh, what's his name? Matt George. Don't like that name at all. 239 yards, one touchdown, one or two interceptions. Just not a good game for them at all. Cream Hunt, good game, 96 yards, almost eclipsing 100 on 20 rushes. No touchdowns though. Derrick Henry, horrible game. Said he was going to shut him down. We did. Their quarterback was doing all the fucking running. Cam Akers, horrible. Corey Davis, horrible. And then we go, we come to yards, just a very impressive game from our team. Six catches, 181 yards, two touchdowns. Four catches, 113 yards, two touchdowns. John Smith also had a good game. Kareem Hunt, two catches, 48 yards. Didn't fucking matter. Tackle Joy Bulls had two. Rashawn Evans, 
also in there had two on the other side of the ball. Also, Chandler Rosu, not Chandler Rosu. Well, Chandler Rosu did have two, but I meant to say Kenneth Bryant Jr. had two. And Montez Sweat was a mid Mario Dates. Harold Landry. Every time I see Harold Landry, I'm going to say it's in Landry Fields. That's not who that is. Or Carl Landry. Y'all don't even know about Carl Landry. Uh, Greedy Williams also was in there for a tackle for Lawson Intos. No, Sacks. Sacks. Harold Landry had two, which I kind of don't remember. Uh, Kenneth Mark Jr., Matt Bryan, and Achenu Rosu Intos. Meadowbrooks, Diggs, and uh, Jalil Martin. Yeah, good game, but could have come away with the win for them. All right, I think that's going to be it for this. We're going to see who we're, well, we're, gonna know who we're facing next week. We're going to be facing the uh, Ravens, so it's actually going to be a big game. We didn't allow a rushing touchdown, so great. More XP for us. Five inches here for the entire defensive line. Ravens, who are a better team in this conference. Conference kind of sucks this season, but... They are a better team. And we have a breakout player. I'm guessing that's going to be Middlebrooks, honestly. He did have two fumble uh, recoveries. And he did with player of the week, didn't he? Yeah, I'm guessing he did that. And so forced fumble, two touchdowns. Probably had a tag for loss somewhere in there. So Herbert's also up there player of the week this week. Um, Yeah, this might be our MVP season, man. I don't know what to tell you. They are 7-1, so this will probably be a game for the top of the AFC. Um, like I said, the AFC West, not looking too sharp. Yeah, Packers are 9-0. I don't really know what the Packers have. I don't think we face the Packers this season, or I don't think we are going to. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of 7-1 teams. Patriots, Ravens, Chargers, Colts, and Seahawks are 7-1. A lot of 6-2 teams, probably. So Packers look like it at the top of the conference. Obviously, going to be top of the conference in the NFC. Um, we lose this game here. We know what's going to happen for the playoffs. And so we're going to get into. We have a dev up to look up to. Well, a scenario to look up to next game. And yeah, be back with another episode next. Probably next week. If you didn't enjoy the video, you should leave a like, subscribe if you are new. I'll see you next video. But until next video.